I don't really think the weapons of mass destruction were the sole reason for the war. The main reason we went into Iraq at the time was we thought he had weapons of mass destruction. Fuck the government. Turns out he did. And this is just a whole water as far as I'm concerned. Fuck the government. The government. The government. The terrorist attack just and killed 3,000 of our citizens. Fuck the government. Before we started the freedom agenda in the Middle East, they were. What did Iraq have to do with what? Nothing. I pledge no allegiance, nigga, fuck the president's speeches I'm baptized by America and covered in leeches The dirty water that bleaches your soul and your facial features Drowning you with propaganda that they spit through the speakers And if you speak about the evil that the government does The Patriot Act attract you to the type of your blood They try to frame you and say you was trying to sell drugs And throw a federal indictment on niggas to show you love This shit is run by fake Christians, fake politicians Look at their mansions and look at the conditions you live in All they talk about is terrorism on television They tell you to listen, but they don't really Tell you they mission, they funded Al Qaeda And now they blame the Muslim religion Even though Bin Laden was a CIA tactician They gave him billions of dollars And they funded his purpose Fahrenheit 9-11, that's just scratching the surface Fuck the government, the government, the government, the government Fuck the government, the government, the government Fuck the government, the government, the government right Because our colony and some of these former Baptists are Killing innocent Iraqis and killing our soldiers in order to try to get us to leave. They say the rebels in Iraq still fight for Saddam, but that's bullshit. I showed you why it's totally wrong. Cause if another country invaded the hood tonight, it'd be warfare through Harlem and Washington Heights. I wouldn't be fighting for Bush or white America's dream. I'd be fighting for my people's survival and self esteem. I wouldn't fight for racist churches from the South, my nigga. I'll be fighting to keep the occupation out, my nigga. You ever clock someone who talk shit or look at you wrong? Imagine if they shot at you and was raping your moms. And of course, the Saddam Hussein had chemical weapons, we sold him that shit after Ronald Reagan's election. Mercenary contractors fighting a new era. Corporate military banking off the war on terror. They controlling the ghetto with the fear of attack. Trying to distract the fact that they engineering the crack. So I'm strapped like Lee Malvo holding a sniper rifle. These bullets are touch of kids, and I don't mean like Michael. Your body be sent to the morgue, stripped down and recycled. I fire on house niggas that support you and like you. Cause innocent people get murdered in the struggle daily. And poor people never get shit and struggle daily. This ain't no Alien conspiracy theory, this shit is real. Written on a dollar underneath the Masonic seal. Fuck the government. 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 President, I want to follow up on Iran one more time. You saying today that you do not know a senior uh, members of the Iranian government are in the fact behind these explosives. Um, that contradicts what U.S. officials said in Baghdad on Sunday. They said the highest levels of the Iranian government were behind this. It also it seems to square with what General Pace has been saying, but contradicts with what your own press can I, can I, can I, I can't what say it. Let me, let me think here. I can't say it more plainly. There are weapons in Iraq that are harming U.S. troops because of the Quds Force. And as you know, I hope, that the Quds Force is a part of the Iranian government. Whether Amani Najad ordered the Quds Force to do this, I don't think we know. But we do know that they're there, and I intend to do something about it. And I've asked our commanders to do something about it, and we're going to protect our troops. Some of those contradictions, Mr. President. There's no contradiction that the weapons are there and they were provided by the Cuts Force. What assurances can you give the American people that the intelligence this time will be accurate? Ed, we know they're there. We know they're provided by the Cuts Force. We know the Cuts Force is a part of the Iranian government. I don't think we know the, who picked up the phone and said the Cuts Force go do this, but we know it's a vital part of the Iranian government. What matters is, is that we're responding. The idea that somehow we're manufacturing the idea that the Iranians are providing IEDs is preposterous. Ed. My job is to protect our troops. And when we find uh, devices that are in that country that are hurting our troops, we're going to do something about it, pure and simple.